Hello, this is Chris, the new video person that none of you actually know. But today I'm joined by newsman and Halo fan, Wes. Hello. How's it going? Good, uh, yes. We're here to talk about Halo. Uh, yeah. Funnily enough. And in particular, we're going to talk about some of the changes that have come as a result of the beta for Halo 5 Guardians. Yes, yeah, some big changes. Yeah, changes so... Changes are afoot. Uh, let's kick off with, with the biggest ones. There are a few minor tweaks as well, but... I guess I think sprint is the big one. Uh, so Halo Four was a bit controversial because that's three four three added sprint. Yeah, that's right? what I'm giving, right? Sure. And it was deemed at the time to be almost like abhorrent, like mm -hmm. almost like a disease that was riddling uh, <laughs> the Halo series with some kind of pox, Call of Duty related like bacteria. Yeah, or something. I think I think that's quite a. <laughs> A fair statement. I was definitely on that side of the fence as yeah. well. Big Halo um, Free guy. Well, this is the thing, right? Because Bungie, uh, the Halo games have traditionally been uh, quite uniform and consistent. Mm -hmm. And so when 343 you know, changed things up a bit, there was obviously a negative reaction. Anyway, like Halo 5, when they announced it, it had Sprint in. And so <laughs> people were like, oh, God, not Sprint again. You know, this isn't Halo. Although they had an interesting system to try and balance the, sp the Sprint for Halo 5. So this is in the beta. Uh, this is yeah. When this was in the uh, beta, and this was when the sort of game was announced. So the way it works is, you know how like you might have an encounter with another player, mm -hmm. and you both shoot each other, and you come out on top, but your shields are down. Yeah. Um, if you sprint, then your shields won't recharge. Right. Okay. That yeah. was their way at, of balancing sure. the sprint, uh, and you know, fair enough. But you know, most people, the purists, didn't didn't like that. Anyway, so after the beta, now they've said that they're gonna give players the option to toggle sprint on or off right. in custom matches. Is that gonna be limited to custom games? Then? Yeah. Like, do, do you get any impression that? I got the impression that this effectively means that there will probably be a playlist. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask for, like old school Halo mm -hmm. uh, options or whatever settings. In we which... call ourselves uh, traditionalists. Yeah, region. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pure Spartan. Uh, the the Spartans. Yeah. Let's call ourselves the Spartans. Nice. I like that. Yeah, but they. So I, I assume that there'll be some kind of like playlist, mm -hmm. but just toggle the sprint off. Yep. Uh, and also you can toggle the Spartan abilities off uh, generally. So, you know, like the ground pound, the, some of the more uh, elaborate stuff that you could do with a sort sure. of thruster pack uh, and the mobility things that they were trying to add into the game to make it feel a bit more like you were able to get up and about easier right. than in previous Halo games. So you can turn all that off. It's a very difficult position for 343, I think. Yeah. Like, appease the traditional Halo fans, the Spartans, the Spartans yeah, and actually <laughs> stay modern or just stay new. Like each game has to have, you know, a very Well, they they new are under feel. pressure to evolve the series, mm. right? They need to grow the Halo audience with yep. each game. And modern tastes are that a lot of people play the likes of Call of Duty. Yep. and other first-person shooters that have like aim down sights on the left trigger, mm -hmm. like sprint. You know, what was the last first-person shooter you played that didn't have sprint? You know, yeah, or um, or even like without class systems as well. That that seems to have taken yeah, without over class system and every FPS. Yeah, so yeah. I've got to walk a fine line between evolving the series yep. to to make it stay relevant to help grow the audience, and but still at the same feel like time, Halo, right? Make keep it feeling like Halo. It's a difficult balancing act. And obviously, you know, they they the beta showed them that you know there was a lot of response. I think they've got this like um, feedback program, which I think they said they had like nineteen thousand people in it over the beta. And oh. of those, I think it was nearly eleven percent said they would rather sprint was not in the game. Yeah. And eleven percent is not the majority. Yeah, definitely. But it's a sizable minority mm -hmm. uh, and a vocal one. Yeah. So giving the option to turn it off. You know, rather than just saying, okay, we'll ditch it completely, giving players the option, I think is a step in the right direction. That says a lot about what the word beta actually means now, that not oh, everyone was the in game. the feedback process, only yeah, yeah, yeah. a certain group of them were, but yeah, let's let's not focus on that. So you mentioned the, the aim down sights, or they call it the smart link gaming, right? Yeah, right, so one of the things I love about Halo 5 is this hilarious situation where they think that there's some kind of law tied into the visor, oh, the really? heads-up display. <laughs> yeah, in Halo. okay, sure. Right. And it's quite funny. It's like this. I, I'm play. I've played all the Halos, and mm -hmm. I'm. I've considered myself to like try. I've at least tried to understand the story. Sure. But I must admit, I have missed this law around <laughs> the visor. But apparently, in a in a in the Spartan armor, 
there's like a connection uh, between the weapon that the Spartan right. uses and the visor. Sure. And so the heads up display is tied. Uh, is it, the, all this is like explained in, in the Halo lore. You know, it, there's an actual connection. Every time a Spartan picks up a weapon, it like links up with the armor. And so that's how <laughs> in your heads up display you get all of this. Right. Info. I feel like they've gone a little bit too deep <laughs> down yeah. the rabbit hole here. So there's like you know, like the, even the targeting reticule. Even though you know it's a first person shooter, you've got to target. This is explained. Like the ammo. This is explained. Right. Like the uh, you know all, the, the all of this stuff. Uh, and so apparently they wanted the reason for Smart Link was so that they could express this law in mm-hmm. the game but in a way have something it, close to call of duty traditionally yes yeah. so. i know this is what everyone says right it's so the main like, the main difference between them is that your movement speed isn't affected whilst you're aiming down the sights which yeah would be halo in, in some games halo has always had that which is it's a sort of traditional sort of arena almost mm-hmm. old school shooter where your movement speed or your ability your mobility isn't affected by whether you're zooming in or not. Yeah. It's been a very sort of fire from the hip style game, right? Sure, definitely. And um, that's one one of the reasons people love it. It's yeah. one of the reasons I love it. The mm-hmm. idea that you can fire the battle rifle uh, as effectively from the hip mm-hmm. as if you zoom in, uh, you, or essentially you're going to do the same yeah. amount of damage. If you're accurate to, enough. It comes down to play a skill rather than the exactly. limitation of the yeah, yeah. weapon. And a lot of people were really not getting on with the fact that they added this smart link system, right? Which is essentially an aim down sight. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I imagine that some people watching this video won't really know what all the fuss is about, but that is a, For Halo a, a fans, major change that's if you're a big embedded deal, in right? Halo, definitely. Yeah, so based on feedback to the to the beta, they've tweaked this. Now, they haven't gotten rid of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they want there to be a dual mode, essentially, for every weapon, where yep. you have to make a decision about whether you're going to fire it from the hip or zoom in. Mm-hmm. And I get that, fair enough. Uh, although when I've played the game, the aiming down the sights of the assault rifle is just weird. Yeah, you know I, that I classic know. sort of assault rifle, big targeting yep. skill. It's kind <laughs> of weird. But yeah, they've tweaked it so that automatic weapons now they reduced the precision of the bullet spread when you're aiming down the sights. It still strikes me as a little bit strange to wrap my head around. Yeah, I have a game with that. Well, they want. Uh, because apparently they were getting feedback from people that the automatic weapons like the assault rifle or the SMG mm. were because you could fire you could zoom in and to fire them. Yep. They were a bit too powerful at Longer sort of ranges. medium just yeah. above the medium distance range. Mm-hmm. And okay. they wanted to keep them relevant to more more for that sort of close quarters yeah. Uh, yeah. range. That makes a lot and sense. so what they've done is they've changed the damage spread so that they, it's just slightly less focused fire when you're aiming down the sights because people are u- using the assault rifle to target headshots yeah. and stuff, and that's never been in hand. No, yet. that's not cool. That's, <laughs> that's just not. Cool. That's not cool. Yeah. So they, that's an important tweak. So you know, I I don't think they'll ever ditch this uh, aiming down sights yeah. thing that they've gone. It would have been Halo a very brave 5. decision to do it, but yeah, they switch because it. it is one of one of the changes that people. I talk about the most. Uh, yeah, well, that's def- I think the the I think that and sprint are the mm. two things that people have latched onto as the most controversial new elements. Sure. Uh, you you mentioned um, the, the idea of people getting headshots when they possibly shouldn't. It sounds like there's a bit of a strange system going yeah. on with how headshots in that game worked in the beta. Yeah. So we're getting really like nitty gritty. Yeah, Halo it was always going to happen. Which is Come fine. On. You know, you know, I, I love this stuff. The beta was weird. And some people noticed it, some people didn't. Some people just thought it was like some kind of random element. Yeah. What was happening was um, you were doing more damage if you were uh, landing headshots yeah. while shields were up. Mm-hmm. And that's not Halo. That's never been a thing. No. Right, so what they've done is tweaked it so that you only do bonus damage to headshots once the shields are dropped. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have that that old school sort of cadence yeah. where that you're is like, just going bang, bang, to... bang, 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 shields are down, now go for head. Yeah. We were, we were talking on the train this morning actually about how important it is to the Halo series to know exactly how many shots it takes for each weapon to, to kill land someone. a kill. Yeah, because yeah. the game is is very fluid and it sounds like Halo 5 is even more fluid than uh, past games but part of that is because you know exactly how many shots you need to take and you'll be moving on to the next target exactly, the moment yeah, that finishes. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's always been a run and gun game as opposed to, I mean it's been a more of a run and gun game I think than others. Obviously there are other elements to it, you know you've got big team battle and stuff and snipers and all the rest of it. But I think the core sort of, the, the, the thing that people know from Halo combat is 
you like you have these like duels, one v one or two v one duels, and you know you're both shooting each other and your shields. You know, it's basically who dies first yeah. sort of thing. And I've always loved that element. Yeah, and to it. there is a certainty to that as well because you will know why you lost if, yeah. if you do lose one of those yeah, duels. Yeah, it's lag, not, lag, it's, bullshit. Yeah, that's lag. always the reason. Yeah, so so that is an important change. They've also increased movement speed. Yeah, so that's the the. I know we've just this talked is about an interesting one. Yeah. Sprinting being toggled, but this is actual base movement speed. Yeah, this is base movement speed. Now I don't know. I felt like it played slow. Mm. Obviously, it's really strange to say with which the is, game with which sprinting. is weird, even though it had all this extra mobility stuff yeah. and sprint. I asked them about this last year, and they said it's not any slower. It's just I think the game felt like movement was slow because they added all of this yeah. other stuff yeah, in. You start to rely on it more so as a result. So you notice your base movement speed isn't quite good enough to cope with the rest of the game. They've also increased your acceleration for strafing. Right, sure. So right. Like we're talking so, about those duel situations. Yeah, that's now, right? exactly those duel situations. So it'll be, you know, the whole sort of strafing thing when yeah. you're like battle rifling it, someone. It looks so ridiculous when you actually see other people doing that, but when you're, when you're in the middle yeah, of it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's crucial. A, it's crucial. <laughs> but what they've also done is reduce the top speed of sprint. Right. So they're now what they're, effectively all of those things combined is narrowing the difference between the base movement speed and the sprint. Mm -hmm. And what they're trying to do uh, is make it so that you can chase down sprinting players. Yep. Easier. And get those kills so they don't get away from you as they were in the beta. Sure. And I know a lot of people were saying they were getting a little frustrated that people could escape or run away very effectively and. That didn't always feel, you know, yeah, quite, you've got, quite like, as Thruster satisfying. packs and the sprint. Thruster packs, gonna be sprint, you know, all these things. You just basically just could run away. away. Yeah. Uh, and so you could effectively, you know, dip in and out of situations and you'd, you'd have the safety net of knowing that you could escape. And that's cool, but I think some people felt like it was harder to chase people down. Sure. Um, it's important to note that there's tactics involved here, right? Because when you're sprinting, you're, you're, not, you're, using you're not using your weapon. Right. So you have to stop sprinting to be able to then fire a weapon. Then there's a there's a time, very short period of time yeah. there where you can't fire. So if someone isn't sprinting and they get the drop on you, then theoretically they should win that encounter yeah, because they definitely got the they're, they're firing first. Yeah. So you have to think, do I sprint now? You know, Because if I'm sprinting, I'm not going to be able to react. And now that they've increased the base movement speed, people might be less inclined yeah, to think, I think I'm going to sprint here because... I'd rather have my guns ready. I think that's exactly it. The, it's a little bit less necessary at all points during the game. Um, it, yeah, it is an option now rather than something you just have to do. Yeah. It sounds like they're making a lot of choices that the community as a whole will appreciate. Obviously, there's still going to be some big oh, sticking points always, for yeah, them. I mean, they, there'll always going to be people who just They haven't like... made Halo 3 again, which I'm not going to give them for <laughs> any point soon. But do you think Halo 5 is... Is it more appealing to you after after hearing yeah. these changes? Right. I think it is. The beta did not capture my attention in quite the way that I had hoped. Yeah. For a variety of reasons, you know, like I'm I'm addicted to Destiny right now, mm -hmm. and it had to go some to yeah. tear me away. It's going to take game. an awful lot. I yeah. don't know what it will be. And we don't know anything about the single player portion of, Des of uh, Halo Five apart from sort of storyish de details. We don't know how it's going to play. We don't know the systems that mm -hmm. are going to be in place. So for all we know, that could be you know really compelling. But the multiplayer just the beta just sort of came and went, and that's sad. You know, I want there to be a huge amount of excitement over Halo. It's again. Halo, right? It's, it's, Halo. it's such a big name, yeah. it, it, and I'm sure when it comes out at the end of the year, it will be a big event and it will be a big deal. Just wonder if it will ever be as big as when Bungie were at the helm. I guess that's the. Yeah. I guess three four three. We're also wondering. Yeah. Three four three. You were, but you know, part part of making that Halo Five a success will be pleasing people who loved Halo. Yeah. They they need that as a base, as a starting point, and from there you grow the audience. From there you start to appeal to other people who perhaps have never played it before. Sure. So that's why I think a lot of these changes are welcome. Yeah. Um, there, there are problems within these changes, and they've got plenty of time to tweak, and they will change things again, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a good step. Yeah, I guess I think the most positive thing I'm going to take away from this is that there have been two very big examples now with this and the Battlefield Hardline beta of developers putting these big multiplayer tests out there and actually reacting to the yeah. information in some pretty major ways because both of those betas didn't get the kind of reaction that I think they were hoping for. In 343's defense, they put this uh, beta out a year before the game came out. Mm -hmm. 
And that, you know, when we, that's we're almost unheard of, especially on console. Yeah, and especially with anything approaching that kind of size. Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. So it is early days still. So we have to, you know, cut 343 some slack, I think. Mm -hmm. I just hope that, you know, when, when it comes to potential second beta, which are, I suspect will happen, you know, closer to launch or whatever, that people will, you know, latch onto it more. So there's a bit more, you know, a bit more of a fun factor, a bit more of an excitement level. Sure. Well, cool. We should totally play that when it comes out. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Wes.